Hello, today I'm going to show you how to type on a path. My first example is a simple curved line. To place text on a path, click on the Type tool, hold, and select the Type on a path tool. Now click anywhere on the path. If you wish, you can adjust the font size. Click on the path again and type your text. To modify the path, switch to the Direct Selection tool. You will notice three perpendicular lines. This one with the arrow pointing right shows the beginning of the path. The one with the arrow pointing left shows the end of the path. And the middle one shows the center. Click on it, hold and drag to flip the text upside down. Let's move the beginning of the path all the way to the left. This will give you more space to work with your text. Now select the Type on a Path tool, highlight the text and you can edit it like you would with any other text. You can increase the font size, Open the paragraph window and align it to the center or right. Let's leave it at the center. If you would like your path to be visible, switch to the Direct Selection tool, click on the path, bring the stroke to the front and change its color. With the newer version of Illustrator, you can select the text and then double-click on the Type on a Path tool. The dialog box will open and here you have many options. You can choose between different effects. Skew, 3D Ribbon, Stair Step or Gravity. You can flip your text. You can change a line to path from baseline to ascender the sender or center and you can adjust spacing. If you don't have a new version, you can still do all this in the character panel. I will come back to it in a minute. Let's highlight the text, adjust the font size, style and color. Next I will show you how to place text on a path vertically. With the path selected, go to the Type tool and select the Vertical Type on a Path tool. And like before, click on the path, change the size if you like and type your text. Select everything, adjust if needed then switch to the Direct Selection tool and bring the beginning of the path to the top. Adjust it a bit more or change color. My next example is this square. This time we would like to place text along the left edge only and keep the square as it is. If we select the square, choose the Type on a Path tool and then when you click on the path, the square will disappear. Let's undo it. With the square selected, go to the Layers panel and lock the layer with the blue square. Now select the Pen tool, swap the Fill and the Stroke Change its color if you wish and draw a line that will follow the profile of this edge. Now switch to the Selection tool, select the line and use the Type on a Path tool like we did before. Switch to the Direct Selection tool, bring the beginning of the path to the left edge, open the Paragraph window Adjust the alignment if needed or open the character window and adjust the font, the size or use the baseline shift option to change a line to path. 
Here you will have more control placing text above or below the line. In our next example, we would like to place text only on the curved side. Drawing the exact curve with the pen tool would be quite difficult. There is a better way to do it. First, let's create a copy of this shape. Now change its color, swap the fill and the stroke, and we've got an identical path that we can work with. Let's lock the layer with the yellow shape to prevent it from shifting. Make sure the new layer with the stroke is selected and choose the Type on a Path tool. Now click on this curved path. You will notice that the cursor was automatically placed on the opposite side. Don't worry, we will change it later. First type your text. Next switch to the Direct Selection tool. And now we need to adjust the path position. First select the end of the path and drag it all the way to the right corner. Then select the beginning of the path and drag it to the left corner. Now we can adjust the text. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.